What's going on guys? It's Jinxie and we got a new video, a different video. Um, this is the first ever YouTube video where it's not like a Twitch upload highlight. Like this is this is completely off stream right now. This is the first ever off stream like dedicated YouTube content I've done ever. So I'm excited man. If, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be focusing on in this video is how to rank up in Rainbow Six Siege. As you guys can see, this season, um, I hit champion. I've been champion last season, the season before, the season before. I'm pretty sure I've been champion like 10 or 11 seasons in a row. <laughs> but like, it's what I want to mainly do here is because I know a lot of new players have come into Siege recently, and I've been getting asked constantly in my Twitch chat, YouTube comments, even my TikTok comments. It's like, bro, post a YouTube video on how to rank up. So today is that day, bro. It is currently four in the morning four in the morning bro and i was like i can't really sleep i mean i slept earlier but like i it was like a nap so i'm kind of awake but i'm gonna film this video because this is a video i've wanted to film finding a game is probably gonna be tough right now um but what i what i want to give you guys is just tip by tip i literally have notes in my phone on how to rank up in rainbow six siege tips and tricks <laughs> um so yeah the main thing I want to focus on first and foremost is like the number one way to rank up easily without a doubt is just finding your operator. Like in, you know, a lot of like older, you know, OG players or not even OG players. A lot of players will tell you like, oh, you can't, you can't just play one operator, bro. I hate to break it to you, but you really can. Like if you can find an operator that doesn't really get banned and players aren't like fighting for it trying to take it from you bro you're, you're off to the races like if you could find an operator like let's say for example like ying i think ying is a grossly underrated operator like i think ying is so good and she has so much potential um like like i think ying is just so incredibly good she doesn't really get banned a whole lot she has her lmg has like 81 bullets um oh we got a game but so tip number one is just finding an operator where like they're not gonna they're not gonna get taken that much and they're not gonna get banned that much like if you can find an operator and okay tip number two <laughs> know what maps to ban ban emerald planes in a heartbeat tip number two know what maps to ban bro bro i'm literally solo queuing at four in the morning i actually know this anthony guy Miss Arns guy. I'm pretty sure these guys are pretty good. Anthony and Arns. I just the only guys in the lobby I know. Ever since rank 2.0, there's a lot of like new players that are just like slithering in the champ. But like that's good, bro. I mean anybody can get champ, right? That's the whole point of making this video. Oh, I'm in game challenge get out of here. But bro, like ever since rank 2.0, bro, and crossplay, like there's so much PlayStation players in these lobbies and stuff. But um so okay. So we're on Clubhouse. This is Clubhouse is slowly becoming like my favorite map in the game right now. So a good a good ban on Clubhouse is always Thatcher. Thatcher is always a good ban on any map. But I'm going to say now tip number three. Tip number three. How to rank up. Okay, tip number three. Please, please, please warm up before you play ranked. Bro, if you can literally just spend five, ten minutes, literally five, ten minutes a day of just warming up, it will make a world of a difference a world of a difference now like there's so many ways to warm up in siege now t hunt what i would recommend is tdm you know what i mean you got t hunt you got tdm um they're going to be adding in like an aim trainer next season which looks cool but what i would recommend is tdm and you might be like well jinxie why do you recommend tdm over t hunt and the reason is very 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 simple the reason why I would always, always, always recommend TDM over T-Hunt is because in TDM, you're getting into these real engagements, these real fights. Like, you guys are going at it. You guys are clashing head-to-head. -head. In T-Hunt, you're moving against bots. So, like, bots, you know, move, like, stagnant, and they, like, they don't really change their movement. In TDM, you're playing against real people. In Ranked, what I'm playing right now, you're playing against real people. You know what I mean? So, I'm just going to give you a little bit of my mindset here. So, we're on Clubhouse, 97.8% of the time, teams like to defend downstairs on Clubhouse. So what we I'm gonna to do is I'm gonna bomb. bring Twitch if they bring the Mira. If they don't bring the Mira, I'll switch to Nook. I'll actually switch to Nook right now. But if they don't bring the Mira, I'll bring the Twitch because my job as Twitch is to pop the Miras, right? So, 
This will be tip number four now. Tip number four is prepping cams. I would say, oh my god, I would see. Okay, okay, still. Tip number four, I would say prepping cams, bro. Like, bro, prepping cams is like. This is like one of the most underrated tips ever. Like if you know, like, so basically, just what I'm saying. So I'm gonna be entering from stock, right? So I would be an idiot to not prep a camera in stock. So now I have a Five camera in stock. So what I'm gonna do here, my goal this round is to get in stock and then nade Your below. To locate and so I'm gonna get bomb. in stock, right? And then I'm gonna nade below from stock. Loading new magazine. Okay, we're looking good here, we're looking good. Let me re-drone it. Okay, boom, we're good to go. See this? We're good to go. Stay behind me! Located a bomb. Just unlucky, I guess. Just unlucky, I guess. Ah, I didn't have any um, I guess the one thing I could have done differently there was I could have droned like secret. <laughs> But um, you know, we ain't, it's like it's like we ain't and all that. We ain't good. It's all good though. Stay um, close to me. Also, chat. If you guys like this video, not chat. Dude, this is weird. YouTube. If you guys like these dedicated YouTube videos where I'm not. Swapping back. Anyway, I can do more of these. I can do like one or two of these a week. But, uh, oh my there God. No longer in your possession. Won that. All right. So Down tip number five: friendly. always get on cameras when you're. Playing. Even if you think the camera is useless, always get on. 500 we have been eliminated. I, when did they add that? So tip number five, always, always, always get on cameras when you're dead. Like, don't, don't be scrolling through TikTok, uh, watching some Jinxie TikToks. Don't be watching Jinxie on, well, actually do watch Jinxie on Twitch. Also, if you want the Jinxie charm, YouTube fam, you know where to get it, man. It's, it's in the link of every description of every YouTube video I've ever posted in the last like month. We put it at the top of the link. All you got to do is sub one time to your boy Jinxie on Twitch. You'll get the Jinxie charm, man. All right, so back to what I was saying. I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go Twitch, man, for these Miras. And I'm going to start off on Nook. But if they if they bring if they bring the Mira, I'm going to go Twitch for sure. But, um, dude, it is, it is literally 4 in the morning right now, bro. This is insane. But, um, yeah, dude, doing these one-on-one -on -one videos is crazy. But, yeah, man, I love you guys, bro. Like, the last... Bro, the last year has been really crazy. The growth on the Twitch, the YouTube, the TikTok, and just the growth in Siege, the amount of new players that have come to Siege from my TikToks or my streams or my YouTube videos is like actually ridiculous, man. Like, and like, you guys, I genuinely think like you guys are the best community ever. So hopefully these tips are helpful, like the tips I'm giving you. But um, oh yeah, tip, tip number, this will be six, right? Because I do want to see you motherfuckers rank up, like for real. Let's see you guys rank up. So this would be tip number six. Okay, tip number six. Five seconds before insertion. Find the right loadouts. Like, look at my loadout here. You gotta you learn and, and adapt to bomb. the meta. Okay, so tip number six is just adapting to the meta and finding the, the right loadouts. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. If you have the a gun that has a 1.5 scope on it, use it. The 1.5 scope is the Hurry! best scope in the game. I see motherfuckers running around with 1.0 scopes. No, 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 no. Run around with a 1.5 scope. Activating him. So my teammate droned this for me, so I know it's clear. Okay, so that's just, you know, better aim. <laughs> I can't really coach that, I'm gonna be honest. But I kind of can. I mean, it's like I said earlier with the TNs. I mean, that's literally just better aim. There's really not much to do with that. So we got a roaming Wamai, I believe. I believe Wamai is roaming, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to drone him for my teammate Dokubi here. Oh my god, is he in? No, well, my fell back to sight. See, they have these mirrors, but our teammate did bring Twitch, though. So, it's, it's kind of all going to come up to... You know it's me. It's all going to come up to Twitch if we can get these mirrors. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to flank, so I'm going to probably just do flank watch here. Tip number seven, flank watch, man. Always know to just expect rovers. Okay, is he is he mouse or is his aim just disgusting? Oh no, yeah, he's mouse. Okay, I was about to say like, there there's like no way he, dude, his his crosshair placement was so bad, bro. He was aiming outside of the bar double door and then swiped on my forehead. Like, dude, his bro. Oh my god, just his overall awareness is so bad. I, I love it, bro. 
Sims just like do whatever they want. But um, back to back to my tip from earlier, bro. Whenever you're dead, bro, always, always, always get on cameras. Um, what would be the next tip? Tip number seven? Yeah, yeah. Tip number seven or eight? I don't know. I can't even keep track. Tip number seven. This is a huge tip. Always a good mindset. You have dropped the diffuser. Me myself personally, bro. One friendly is operator remaining. Our whole team. Me myself personally, bro. I am a person who like always get mad for like the littlest things. But like I know that I'm so bad. good mindset like like this game right here like we're losing 2-0 but i guarantee you we come back i guarantee you we come back bro like one million billion zillion percent i'm gonna switch my operator we're gonna play so they're gonna be gym so what i'm gonna do here i actually know exactly what i'm gonna do here so what i like doing here um when teams go gym is i like going osa and then i like playing on the site windows because on gym, the sight windows can hold, you can hold so many choke points from these sight windows. <laughs> choke point. What is wrong with me? You can hold so many choke points from these sight windows, but if you put an OSA shield on the CC window, you're floating. You are literally floating if you can put an OSA shield on the CC window. Because, like, like here's basically what I'm saying. So, this window here, that gives you a good choke point, right? <clears throat> this window here, that gives you a good choke point. Even this window here gives you a good choke point on the con. So what I do is I put an OSA shield on this window and then I punch it. That way they can't have any vision on me. They can't shoot me. The one thing you got to worry about is if they impact that window or throw a C4 on that window. But that's about it. So yeah, this is tip number eight. This is the biggest tip in Rainbow Six Siege. And this is the insertion biggest, biggest, biggest way on how to rank it. Don't do what I'm doing. You must locate do not and solo queue. Bomb. Do not solo queue. Uh, like, solo queuing will give you so much stress and, like, pain and, like, suffering and, like, depression. Like, solo queuing, it's like uh, if you've ever seen Pawn Stars. You never know what is going to come through that door. It's literally like that. You never know who is going to be on your team. You could literally... Yo, my mic is bugging right now. Oh, my God. It sounds like the Decepticons are taking over my mic. Do you guys hear this? Okay, there we go. It's better. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do the exact strategy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little slit in this. Oh, never mind. He, um, he castled it off, bro. What a freak. It's about to get hot. That guy's actually smart. Oh my god, what is going on? Tagged him, tagged him. Nice. You located a bomb. Right next to me. Bro, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we can come back. Eliminated. We can come back. We can, we can easily come back. Dude, I'm about to show you guys some crazy spawn peaks. But, okay. Back to my tip, bro. Pause. <gasps> Pause. Okay, back, back to my tip. Back to my tip. Don't solo queue, okay? Like, I, I, I cannot explain this any better than how I'm explaining this. Like, when you solo queue, you are almost always, it's like, it's like a guarantee that your team is going to go negative. Like, like if, if I were to look at my, if I were to just take a guess on my average solo queue teammates KD, I'm going to say a 0.9. 
And it's not that KD means everything because KD does not mean everything. But like over a long, long enough period of time when you have a teammate going 0 and 5, 1 and 5, it becomes Secure the area, bad. keep the bombs protected. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the best one peak on Clubhouse, by the way. This this is literally how you get a free kill on Clubhouse every time. I have been doing this one peak for I wanna say six years. Five, six years. Um always bring Soldus or Vigil. The reason why you wanna bring Soldus or Vigil is let me crank my sense up. The reason why you want to bring Solus or Vigil is because you can tell if there's a drone on you. So if there's ever a drone on you, just abort mission. Just get that, get the F out of here. Get the fluff out of here, man. Um, it, it, dude, if Down there is ever, ever, ever a drone on you, you're spawn to you always run, okay? The attacker is always going to have the advantage. But literally, you run over to this barricade, you rip out the barricade, you look like... Sometimes you'll hear him on your right, and then you just turn right. No way nobody spawned on both of these. It's like I told you, bro. It is, and like the reason why I like that spawn peak so much is like I haven't been able to do this spawn peak because if I if I was streaming right there, he would be pre-aiming it. This is what's so nice about doing off-stream content like this. Like, stream sniping is just out of the window. You know what I mean? Stream sniping's out of the question. Like when I I hear somebody above always shoot these stereos. Tip number nine. They make the most annoying music ever. But yeah, it's like, that's why I love, love, love off-stream off -stream content like this, because I don't have to worry about getting stream slammed. If I was streaming, I guarantee you that guy would be walking on his body and he would, like, wall bang to me. Bandit, I think somebody's over here, bro. Center on. Let's see what I can find. Strong operator, bro. Somebody need him below. He's so pissed. Dude, he's so pissed. Dude, he's so pissed. Uh, what did I tell you, bro? I told you we're coming back, chat. I told you we're coming back. Dude, he's so pissed. He is so pissed, bro. idea where this kid is baiting at. Oh my god. Man, it's got a nice ass, dude. Sensor on. Searching for electronics. Bro, where is this kid baiting at? Looking at you have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. <laughs> bro, we had a we had a whole army on him, bro. We literally had a whole army on him. We literally had a whole army, bro. That is insane. But uh, dude, yeah, man. Okay, so but so now this is a, this is a very specific tip. And I remember back when I was just starting to get into siege, like seriously get into it. I remember Pengu said this a while ago. Um, learning how to conserve your ammo and not over reload is like the biggest the biggest one of the biggest gunfight tips i've ever seen so there's two tips right you never want to over reload and you never want to overshoot right i see all these players coming in from like call of duty um they they always overshoot and they always over reload so like this is what i mean by this i'm gonna i'm gonna give you like a Secure quick crash course on this right i'm gonna run to like a quiet place here um okay so for example right Let's say there's an enemy combatant walking down these stairs, and I know he's on these stairs. Let's say Ash is walking down these stairs, right? And then I'm right here. So if I'm right here, I'm in a pretty good spot. Like, Ash is not going to expect me. But if I start doing this, that, then it's like, now what I'm doing is, I have no ammo, and Ash knows exactly where I am. Pre-firing is good, but you gotta know the time and the place. Ten seconds left. You have to know the time and the place to pre-fire, bro. You Five have seconds to. left. Like pre-firing like that is just pointless. 
This is a good spot to be here. Increased surveillance on bombs. Op 4 has a defuser. I always prone under on these stairs and then look here. This is such a good spawn peak. This spawn, I've been doing this spawn peak for like two years. Somebody did it to me one time and then I like broke my desk and then I was like, alright, I'm trying that. That's basically how all spawn peaks uh, originate. Op 4 has located a bomb. I just got room cleared. Oh my god. Bro, bro, bro. Two of them are tagged. Dude, I just tagged IQ and I tagged Havana. And then Ace is in the hallway. Are you serious, right, Neil? Dude, 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 dude. You guys actually got this. Havana is so tagged and IQ, IQ is like beyond tagged. IQ is like 30 health. I'm about to get two assists this round. I have nothing but faith in my team here. I have nothing but faith in my team. We have a good cam on main stairs. Dude, that is the worst frost I've ever seen. Yes, yes, 2v2, nice. One yes. on four remaining. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I have nothing but faith, I have nothing but faith in the boys. 2v1, they're holding good crosses here. So let's get let's get into tip number 10, bro. Doing what they're doing. In a 2v1, you never, ever, ever want to overswing, over peak, overestimate, over Johnson. See how they're holding crosses? So, like, if Castle dies, Pulse will get the kill. If Pulse dies... Wait, I don't want to speak too soon. If Pulse dies, Castle will get the kill. Okay, not anymore. Uh, there you go, Pulse. There you go, Pulse. So that's, just, that's just a beautiful scene. Uh, that's just a beautiful scene. The biggest... The, okay, so this, this kind of dips into the last tip that I just gave. The biggest piece of advice I can give in this game, and this happens at Copper, this happens at Champion, stop throwing rounds and it's like the word throwing is so broad and vast and wide what i mean by this is like 5v1 rounds because a 5v1 round is like virtually unlosable right a 5v1 round is like virtually unlosable if you all just sit in corners and hold each other's crosses the only way people lose 5v1s is when they start playing Mother Fluff and Call of Duty and they run at the last guy. I'm telling you. The bombs. If you and your IRLs can become disciplined, passionate players, you can like in a 5v1, like maybe I sit here, one of my teammates sits here, like you know what I mean? One of my teammates sits here, like you, you become so insanely hard to beat, bro. Like, like every single day, hundreds of times a day, people are selling 5v1 Every single day, bro, people are selling 5v1 and it needs to stop. It must be stopped. Um, but dude, yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna ban a trick. Tip number 11, learn how to ban a trick, bro. Learning how to deny walls and seeds is like one of the biggest things ever. If you can stop a team from reaching, bro, you're off to the fucking races. Bomb locations are secure. You are off to the races. Like, if you can stop a team from breaching, you are literally off to the races. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play bandit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna juggle these bandits, right? Um, cause when teams can't get in walls, bro. What's up? Do you have the Jinxie truck? Oh my god. Yo, he just ran in. I bet you this guy's checking my stream to see if it's the real Jinxie. He's probably like, is this the real Jinxie, man? I got an erection right now. So am I even gonna have to ban a trick? Are these guys not even gonna go for the wall? Op uh, located a bomb, protect it. On the stairs, I think. Watch this, chat. Watch this. Watch this. Nitro death. I knocked one with the C4. I'm so smart. I knocked one with the C4. I am so smart, bro.
Oh my god. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video on just how to rank up in Rainbow Six Siege. Um, it's just going to be tips and trips, man. That's like, that's like what, 11 tips? I, I hope you guys use these in your in your ranked matches, man. And I hope you notice an, an improvement. YouTube, let me know in the comments if you guys like these dedica dedicated YouTube videos where I'm not streaming and I'm just talking to you mother fluffers. Um, YouTube fam, I love you guys so much. We're almost at 600K. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Drop a like. We post every single day. And uh, click the link in the top of the YouTube description if you want to get the Jinxie charm. It's been real. Peace.